At my house, we have two toddlers and just five months ago, we welcomed a new baby into our home. So lately, my doorman Arlo has been getting a little neglected to be honest, but that's all about to change because I'm gonna make five changes in the way I interact with my doorman Arlo, just specifically to build a stronger bond between us. And you are coming along for the ride. I feel pretty bad for my dog Arlo lately. He definitely needs some more dad time. And I have a few good ideas on how we can do that. And who knows, maybe in the process, you'll pick up a few good ideas on some ways that you can bond tighter with your dog. The first way I'm gonna bond tighter with my doorman is, we're gonna crash for the night together. <sighs> That's right, you lucky dog. You know, sleeping in a pile with other members of the pack is really natural for these dogs. And it's a way that they bond with each other they create warmth and safety and comfort just all sleeping together. And uh, really that bond is what I'm going for with Arlo. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna crash for the night together. Maybe binge on a little bit of Netflix all night long until, uh, until we fall completely asleep. What do you think, Arlo? You ready for it? You tired? Let's get going. Oh, and in case you're wondering, the wife has a strict no dog policy on our new bedding, so yeah, this is happening on the couch, but it's worth it, huh, buddy? Let's go. Well, it's morning time and last night went pretty well. Uh, we tossed and turned a little bit, both of us did. You know, I did wake up in the middle of the night with him licking me right in the face, which wasn't that much fun. Uh, he was a bit of a space hog, but he is a European doorman, so you know, it's a little bit to be expected. But man, it is early, it's still dark out. In fact, um, uh, you know, I get up this early these days because I gotta go to work real early which actually brings me to the next way in which I'm bonding with Arlo. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do differently is just have more involvement with Arlo in daily life. Uh, for example, I could have him with me while I'm doing chores. I can uh, have him out in the garage with me when I'm doing projects, or I can take him in the car anytime I'm making short trips for groceries or run an errand, or even early mornings like right now, I can maybe see if I can find a way to take him to work with me. Now, I certainly don't wanna upset anyone who works in the offices I work at, or definitely not the landlord of the building, that's for sure. So we're gonna have to sneak Arlo in, uh, but we're getting ready for work right now, and my plan is to sneak Arlo into work with me today. So let's get going. Luckily for this adventure, I have a private office in an office building with a little private side entrance that I can kind of sneak in there without really being seen too much. The building technically has a no pets policy, but I've seen other uh, business owners there sneak their dogs in um, quite regularly. In fact, I know there's a Rottweiler there who's there pretty much daily with his owner and no one seems to mind. So we're just gonna roll with this. I think Arlo is gonna have a blast being with me at work. We're here.
You know, dwarfers don't care where they are with you as long as they're with you. That's kind of like their happy place. So I think Arlo is going to enjoy hanging out with me at work today. And uh, later today, as soon as I get home, maybe change clothes, we're going to do another fun way of bonding with Arlo. And that is to play a game together. Now, one of Arlo's favorite games, and a game he's really good at, like most Dobermans, is hide and seek. And to do that, basically, I just show him a treat. I have him sit and lay down. I give him a stay command, and then I go hide somewhere in the house. And uh, once I'm all set, I yell out a release command. In his case, his release command is OK, and he tries to find me. Usually makes pretty short work of the game with his amazing nose. Um, you can definitely tell he's scenting as he runs around looking for me, uh, but I really like getting extra creative with where I hide. Down. Stay. Well, it's a few days later, and I think it's time we do the next one on my list to bond a little tighter with Arlo, and that's to go somewhere new together. So uh, I packed up a bag for myself, and even a backpack for Arlo here, and uh, we're gonna go see if we can't find some sort of adventure together. Let's get going. Come on, Arlo. Oh, forgot my bag. Well, we're here and Arlo doesn't go hiking with a backpack very much, so he's only probably doing like 10% uh, or so of his body weight uh, in that pack, so not very much. But we're planning on hiking up that big hill way up there. Uh, so, should be a lot of fun. Let's get going. Come on, Arlo. Man, we just got started on this hike and I can already tell that we're both gonna sleep well tonight. This is certainly gonna get the energy out of both of us. Well, we made it to the top and I do feel like Arlo and I are bonded a little closer than we were when we first started this. We're definitely a little exhausted together and we're gonna sleep well tonight. But you know what, that reminds me, there is one more thing that I wanna start doing with Arlo a little more often just to really strengthen that bond. Real quick guys, before we do, I do wanna invite you to hit that subscribe button down below and click the little bell icon next to it. That way you don't miss any future adventures with Arlo and I, and you get to learn a little bit about this cool breed in the process. And don't forget, in the description of all my videos, there's links to resources and things like recommended products where you can find things like this uh, backpack that I have on Arlo, his water bowl I use when we go hiking, and a whole lot more, so definitely check that out as well. The next one is a super simple one, but in many ways, maybe the most important, and that's just more physical touch. I plan to pet Arlo more, relax with him more, hang out with him, maybe even cuddle with him while I'm watching TV a little more often, just more physical interaction with me and him. You know, that's been proven to strengthen your bond with your dog, and uh, he could certainly use a lot more of that these days since my attention has been elsewhere in the house a lot. Right, buddy? Yeah. Guys, I've had a lot of fun bonding a little bit tighter with my Doberman Arlo. It was much needed. And I'd really encourage you to do the same with your dog. Remember, these dogs on a genetic level really are inclined to be super focused on their owners and just crave that attention. So give them that attention and they'll pay you back tenfold. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, please check out some of the other videos on my channel. See what me and Arlo have been up to. It might just be uh, pretty fun to check out. So uh, you, me, and Arlo, let's hang out again soon. All right, see you next time.